It could be a huge year for British show jumper Jack Whitaker from Nottinghamshire as he attempts to qualify for an Olympic Games this summer, following in the footsteps of his father Michael and his uncle John. To help him do that, he's been taking advice from one of the most successful team bosses in Formula One, Red Bull's Christian Horner, who also has a love affair with horses. The two met at Horner's new training yard, as James Burridge reports. <laughs> A special trip for Jack Whitaker to meet one of the biggest names in Formula One, Christian Horner, who also happens to have a mutual love of horses. He's our best one. Is he? Yeah. yeah, he was the first one and the best one. He's got to win one more race to go to Cheltenham, so that's a... Really, yeah? That's a, that's What's a, it called? Uh, lift Me Up. Lift Good me name. Up. So he, they're all named apart from one of them after Jerry's songs. It's a crucial Olympic year for Jack, ahead of qualification for Paris 2024. So anything he can learn today will be invaluable. So Formula One, I just like stuff to be fast, <laughs> fast but also tidy. When you come back home after everything, do you, are, you still, are you still thinking about the races and everything, or you just try and switch off as much as you can? Well, it's always somewhere at the, in, in your mind, yeah, always, and I think yeah. that's the great thing about getting involved with the horses, yeah, is that exactly, that takes yeah. your mind off, yeah. off because otherwise I think it's unhealthy. I might, I might have to get into F1. <laughs> yeah, it's unhealthy for something to consume completely your life, and I think the most important thing is to focus on the things that you can control, yeah, not exactly, the things, yeah. not spend energy or time on the things that you can't. That's what drives me, that's what drives me the most, man. Because like, like, you're obviously working with horses, it's, I don't know what the percentage is, but you can't control everything. And the problem with the horse is not like a car where you can plug a computer in and <laughs> yeah, see no, what's the matter no. with it, they can't tell you. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, I'm discovering that. <laughs> what would be the value of like your best horse? Oh, I mean, millions. Really? If you're gonna go and buy a horse Olympics now, it's gonna cost you from, Three to twelve million. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll stick to point of pointing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the competitive people are not patient. You know, the two things don't go to okay. go, don't go together. And I think you have to discipline yourself to to be yeah, exactly, patient yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But you know, long term in our business is about two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I think the only pressure I put on myself is because I want to win. Yeah. And I I couldn't be. Uh, there's a lot of other. There's a lot of other riders that that haven't had the leg up I've had. Yeah. That are probably just as just as yeah, able, able as I am. Absolutely, but there's advantages and disadvantages. Because the advantages it's it gives you the opportunity. But then the disadvantage is it comes with expectation with yeah, what your yeah. with what your family and, and, and your father and your uncle have, have achieved. Unbelievable. But you've got to just be your own person. Yeah, no, I've got and carve yeah. your own uh, your own way and your own style and your own personality. You've got nothing to lose. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you've got uh, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So just just go for it. Two high flyers at the top of their game, but which will make their mark in 2024? James Burridge, BBC East Midlands Today, Northamptonshire. That yard, Formula One polished, isn't it? Uh, you can see plenty more of that on the BBC Sport website. Head across there. Um, just